Yo guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing amazingly well. I'm back with another honest review for a college called ISME in Bangalore, which stands for International School of Management Excellence and it's situated in Bangalore. Guys, thank you so much for the response that you've given to my previous college review videos. I am glad about it that you're liking those videos and it is helping you make decisions about which college you should join, you should not join. I have also gone through all the comments and I'm loving the recommendations that you're giving me for other colleges like CMR or colleges in Pune. Delhi, Dehradun and I will surely be working on that. Don't worry guys, I'm reading all the comments and I will make sure that I have reviews of all the colleges ready. I'm just waiting time to collect a lot more of information and doing my personal research before I make the video on the same. In this video guys, I will be covering ISME Bangalore full in and out. I will be talking to you guys about its infrastructure, admission process, the reasons why you should join, the reasons why you should not join this college, all of that. So make sure you watch this video till the very end. Uh, before that guys, you know the drill. If you're liking the content, please smash the like button so that it helps YouTube to push this video out to a lot more people. Likewise guys, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon because it will be a great motivation for me to keep doing and making these videos for you all and you guys will also get regular updates of whenever I upload any new video. Let's get started guys. Alright, the key facts about ISME Bangalore. So it was established in the year 2006 and it is affiliated to Bangalore University. Uh, it's a private university managed by NVT Quality Education Trust. So it's a trust which is managing this uh, particular college and it's associated with Bangalore University. So guys, talking about the admission process at ISME, uh, there is an online registration process which costs you approximately 1200 rupees to fill out the form. After that, you will be called for the interview with expert counsellors. I guess they are the department heads or the faculty at ISME. And then you've got your result. There is no entrance test that you need to give. One great thing about ISME and their ad whole admission process is that they take admissions on rolling uh, basis, which means that, uh, you know, you just don't have to wait for a particular deadline to apply or only after that they will take uh, applications into consideration. No. Uh, so as in when you get to the website, you can directly apply and they will be looking or reviewing your applications on a chronological manner. So, you know, first come first serve basis. And that's a great thing. So you can apply any time that you want. You don't need to wait for like, you know, this is the deadline in like December, Jan, Feb, all of that. You can apply as in when probably you watch this video or as and when you get to know about this university or go to their website all right so guys isme bangalore is quoted itself as a business school in bangalore so the courses that they offer both for undergrad and postgrad are going to be related to the field of commerce and management studies uh, the first course that they offer in undergrad courses is called bcom uh, the main thing about this is that it is inclined or collaborated with acca of uk as well as it has an international study program I will be talking about these things in detail in my pros and cons. Uh, the other course that they offer is a BBA and this also comes with an international study program. Uh, likewise, they have BBA slash BCom which you can choose. They have this dual degree program uh, wherein you can get ACCA. Uh, the name of the course will be like BSc Honours in Applied Accounting from Oxford Brookes University. So along with the BBA or the BCom that you do with Bangalore University or like ISME in a manner, uh, you can also be doing like a BSc Honours in Applied Accounting from Oxford Brookes University. So I hope this is clear to all you people. Talking about the postgrad courses, so they've got two kinds of postgrad courses and both of them are PGDM. One of them is the normal PGDM, which is also like a replica of an MBA. And this too comes with an international study program. The another new one that they've got into the market is uh, PGDM in e-business management, which is relating to e-commerce, digital and all those things. So you will be learning about them. And this too comes with an international study program. So talking about the infrastructure at ISME, since it is a private university, you guys know that the infrastructure in all the private universities Universities is good. Here are the few pictures that I got from the internet uh, regarding ISME. Basically, the building infrastructure is really very good. So the classes are pretty modern, high tech, and you've got everything that you need. Talking about the fees, guys, uh, for BBA, the fees is rupees five lakhs and sixty-five thousand for three years. For BCom is five lakh and five thousand for the three years and PGDM which is the MBA would cost you somewhere approximately 8 lakh and 50 thousand. Now one good thing about this fee structure is that it is inclusive of the international trip that they're offering you students. So uh, unlike other universities where they you know brag about the names of like international trips and all of that uh, it's pretty optional and a lot of people don't choose it out because of the expense of you know traveling accommodation all of that. However 
in this fees that you pay for their B, for your bcom or bba or pgdm that fees that fees for international trip is already included so it is kind of a compulsory trip that every student would take and i guess that's one of the great things because either they're taking you to london you know they've got collaborations with london school of economics or singapore Man institute of management studies or singapore university so you know your learning would be great and when i guess the whole class is going uh, it's exponential in the kind of experience that you have the exposure that you build and the network that you build with students so that's a great thing that i found about in their fee structure uh, likewise i guess like the bba course Course, BCom course and PGDM is pretty industry standard uh, in comparison to all the other universities like Christ and all the other ones that are in Bangalore so it's on the, that level only uh, they also offer various scholarships uh, that you can look out I will be putting down the link of that in the description of this video so do check it out so another thing that I've got reviews from a lot of students is to know about the hostel facilities now guys so hostels so now guys now guys uh, guys, ISME does offer hostels both for boys and girls. Uh, here is the description. So each year you would have to pay around uh, one lakh twenty-five thousand. Uh, second year you have one lakh thirty thousand, and the third year you have uh, one lakh and thirty-five thousand. Now, one good thing about their hostels is that they are also offering food which is not there with a lot of other hostels either provided by the college itself or by a uh, private institute so they have breakfast lunch evening tea and dinner already included in this price uh, definitely these hostels are on shared accommodation basis which means you'll have to share this uh, room of yours with either two more people or one more person uh, they also are offering like laundry services and there is an annual health insurance coverage of up to 50,000 rupees uh, so that's a great thing definitely you can look out of more details of this uh, in the link uh, that I provide in the description of this video talking about the placements guys here's the little detail that I could get from the university's website the highest package or offer is rupees 12 lakhs and the average package for the batch goes up to rupees six lakhs and seventy-five thousand. Here are the few companies that have uh, visited their campus. Now, mind you, guys, these are the numbers or figures that I could only get for the PGDM course of Isme. Okay, so I could not get any details relating to BBA, BCom. None of that was mentioned on their brochure or placement records, reports, all of that. This is for the PGDM or the MBA course that they offer. So you guys can get a fair bit of idea from that. All right, guys, coming to the most important part of this video, which is the pros and cons of ISME, whether you should join ISME or whether you should not join. Let's look at the reasons of why you should join. I guess one of the big things that ISME is promoting uh, on an end-to-end -end level is the international exposure that they're providing to its student, which is not the case with a lot of other universities. Like I mentioned before, a lot of universities will say that, you know, they've got collaboration with XYZ University, ABC, but it's not a compulsory thing. So a lot of people don't even opt it out. You know, so at the start of it, you might find it fancy, but a lot of people don't opt it out because it's either too expensive or it's just not worth the money, all of that. However, they have inclined this program in the fee structure itself and they are taking you to like London School of Economics or uh, colleges in Canada or co colleges in Singapore. So I guess uh, going with the whole class, it's going to be a great exposure. And this is something that a lot of other universities are not doing, uh, like on the exposure and the level that ISME is doing. So I guess this is one of the big pros because of which you can join ISME. Second thing that I found about is that they've got a really highly qualified uh, faculty. They've got people from Carnegie Mellon. They've got people from uh, Wharton and all of that. And that's great. Like, you know, since it is pitching itself as a business, school getting people from the best institutes in the world like you know uh, Wharton, Carnegie Mellon and all of them are in the top of the league so if there are faculty members who studied from there and giving back or you know trying to help like giving back to the society by teaching at ISME that's a great thing trust me these people have got immense exposure so the learning is great uh, another great part about ISME is like the easy admission process like I said you don't have a lot of uh, admission tests or something that you need to give likewise uh, I'm pretty sure the interviews are not going to be really very tough so you can you know as in when you apply you can definitely look at an admission at this college uh, and likewise it can sound to be a good backup too you know I definitely on the paper on the looks of it it looks pretty good uh, another great thing is infrastructure like every private college the infrastructure is good I couldn't find a lot of details regarding sports uh, it wasn't mentioned on the pitches definitely there is a basketball court but I'm not really sure of like other things like indoor activities badminton table tennis all of that so that could be one little uh, red flag but uh, I guess in terms of the infrastructure for studying like the classes uh, the computer labs and all of that they've got all those things another great thing is the location now a lot of institutes in Bangalore are situated in towards the corners of Bangalore. 
एक्सट्रीम नॉर्थ एक्सट्रीम साउथ एक्सट्रीम ईस्ट एक्सट्रीम वेस्ट दिस इज सिचुएटेड इन सरजापुर विच इज नॉट वेरी फार फ्रॉम लाइक अ सिटी सेंटर कॉल लाइक कोर मंगला एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट इवन सरजापुर इज ग्रोन टू हैव लाइक गुड कैफेज एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट रेजिडेंशियल एरिया सो इट्स अ गुड एरिया दैट यू कैन बी अराउंड इन एंड यू नो इट्स जस्ट लाइक अबाउट फाइव टू सेवन किलोमीटर्स दैट यू टेक लाइक द कैब एंड देन यू गेट टू कोर मंगला एंड यू नो द फोरम मॉल एरिया विच इज प्रिटी विच हैज़ एवरी थिंग दैट यू नीड सो द लोकेशन वाइज ऑल्सो इट्स नॉट लाइक एज बैड एज सम अदर यूनिवर्सिटीज दैट आई मे टॉक अबाउट before where you have like a 20 km travel or a 30 km travel that just absolutely gets insane in bangalore another great thing like the last point that i have in terms of the pros is the value for money uh, it can be very subjective and it's very debatable in a manner but on the good part of it like i've said since they've already in- included is their international exposure part of it and you know they're taking like compulsory trip there uh, that is value for money on the debatable part of it is that at the end of the day degree is going to be from bangalore university because isme is not a university in itself they cannot give degrees to its students so that is going to be like a little debatable part but i still feel like on the value for money that they're providing it is a uh, good buy for students to look at talking about the cons of isme in bangalore number of first one that i could find is that it's only a business school now this is also very debatable guys like a lot of people want to be only in the business environment but i still feel like for the holistic development of a student you need to be around people from all different backgrounds and people pursuing all different courses like you know that's the great thing like about christ and all of them because they've got journalism courses they've got economics courses they've even got uh, they've got courses from like science engineering they got courses from btech they got courses from law so when you're talking and meeting with all the people from different backgrounds pursuing different courses in their life your horizon and your holistic development far better than only when you are surrounded with people like from business uh, you are looking for a future in business or in management or in commerce so that is a little con that i could find second is definitely the brand name isme is still establishing itself uh, even though they've got they've got good rankings but the rankings also keep fluctuating sometimes they have been awarded or ranked in the top 30 business schools in the country. i guess they can do much better with the brand name i'm pretty sure people from the north uh, or towards uh, from north or towards the central uh, part of the country do not know a lot about isme likewise even abroad its uh, presence is not there much uh, that's the third point too guys it's they have a lot of regional crowd they do have people from like different states 25 states and all of that but still like you know the majority of the people are from like bangalore south uh, karnataka kerala this side uh, and they still need a lot more of people from like different backgrounds and uh, international crowd is also required so that could be another con if you're looking to be in an environment where the you know majority of the people are from all different parts of the country that could be one little con that you can look at uh, the fourth con that i could find was regarding placements for non pgdm course uh, like i said guys in the previous slide that i put up the figures that i could get of 12.75 lakhs and 6.75 lakhs that was only for the pgdm course but what about the courses for uh, bba bcom all of that i could not get any details i will be putting down the link of the placement brochure placement report all of that so you guys can check it out but if you are putting your money here or if you are investing in this college by being a part of this college just make sure that you are clear on like the placement bit of it uh, because i couldn't get a lot of details as far as i know definitely if companies are coming for pgtm courses they will also come for like bba bcom courses but i couldn't get like the numbers hence i wouldn't want to talk much about it and hence i put it up here in the cons part of it so yes guys that's about it for this video i hope you like this video if you did please smash the like button please comment below if you have any doubts question queries uh, likewise guys please share this video with as many people as you can so that it can benefit a lot of people who are wondering which college they should join and which they shouldn't uh, you can also book up a personal guidance and doubt clearing session with me in case you want to get personal guidance about which college you should join or not join and all the other factors that we can look at together last but not the least guys please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you guys can get regular updates of whenever i upload any new video Take care guys bye bye have a great day